we here because it's less than a year to go to the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio, one of the biggest celebrations of disability sport in the world. This is one of the venues which is for handball, but it's also going to be doubling up as Paralympic goalball. And it's pretty complete. I mean, it's looking all right. We've got some goals up already. Could do with a few chairs. I've just been speaking to the mayor about accessibility, about disabled people getting around the city, and this is what he had to say. There's going to be a legacy. That does not mean that we still we have many problems to face concerning accessibility in Rio. Is the city going to be accessible enough for disabled people, for the thousands that come in? Rio still faces uh, lots of problems concerning accessibility, but I mean things have improved a lot in the city. We are not in a stage of civilization as London is. I mean, we still got a long way to go. That, that's the reason I think we got the Olympics and the Paralympic Games, you know. It was, it was a great chance for the city to improve. And from an accessibility perspective, we've done a lot. Now, one of the things the organisers are hoping for is a record-breaking Paralympics. They want to sell over 3 million tickets. There's going to be thousands of disabled people coming, spectators and Paralympians. So it's all very exciting and I just can't wait for next year.